Hi guys, it's me, the Witch of Boise, here to do another episode of Toasty Terror of Nights! Toasty Terror of Nights! This is a show that I do, and it's me pretty much reading cards, having some cocktails, and just kind of talking and seeing how you guys are. Um, make sure that you do like this video, hit subscribe, also comment below, um, start a dialogue. Um, uh, also, these are general readings. So if they resonate with you, woo, super stoked. If they don't resonate with you, well, I'm very sorry. Um, also, if love becomes uh, one in one of the readings, um, my default is reading to a female about a male. So pronouns are interchangeable. So he's can be she's, she's can be he's, he, he, she, she, whatever's going on in your life. Let's get started. Let's, um, I first want to preface before anything. Um, I did have oral surgery last Monday, so um, I'm trying to take it a little easy. So if you see me like holding this, <laughs> or if like just if you feel like I'm holding back, I kind of am because I don't want to bust a stitch. So um, I'm also drinking just regular water. So um, again, you can have your cocktail, mocktail water. Um, let's cheers to health, wealth, happiness, friendship, and love. Clink! Oh, got some good water. Yep, we're gonna be having a sober weekend, so. Ugh. <laughs> I need a cocktail, but I can't. I can't with this, with what's going on here. Can't do it. All right, so um, let me just change the camera position and we can get started with our first reading. All right, so I am going to be using the um, original A.E. White tarot deck. I have my Witch's Tarot and we're, that will be any kind of clarifying cards that we need. How is that? That's three. So these three jumpers, I'm going to use them kind of as like a clarifying because I'm going to sort. These are the main cards right here. Okay. Interesting. Wow. Okay. Before I get too ahead of myself, wow, that's, that's three right there, that was three too, but let's actually get these into piles. my witch's tarot. I've been using the A.E. White um, tarot deck. I really, I just really like it. But witches, witches tarot is still my fave. Interesting. Interesting. That was one of the um, threes that came out that I said that there was threes. Okay. So. Hmm. 
we have the world as our main card, our first main card. That shadow was the um, emperor. And then we also got ten of swords. Okay, I'm getting... I'm getting this kind of feeling with the world that um, this is a completion. So the world is like the ending of the Major Arcana in Tarot. But there's an Emperor feeling of an Emperor presence. This could be you. This could be a partner. Um, but it feels like you're you're on top of the world. That you have all of everything pretty much like it just feels like you have the world in your hands like this just feels like this is a really peak time right now um i keep getting like the end of a chapter and i do feel like this is like signifying that like end this is an end of something and make sure when things are good that you appreciate it um don't always be looking it's, it's good to strive for for things that are better but don't always be looking for it's going to get better in the sense of maybe this is all that we get you know this what if it's being positive and whatnot we need to do this we need to to really embrace our positivity in that sense because i feel like with the ten of swords that this dynamic of like this emperor is changing the emperor is also an aries energy too wow i didn't even think about this either um this could also even signify like with the um amazon fire wow because of the world this is the amazon's the world's lungs and you have a, the emperor which is aries which is a fire sign and then you have Ten of Swords. And Ten of Swords, in um, how I interpret it, it, every interpretation is different. But whenever I get it, it signifies death for me. A physical death. The earth is dying. That can be also what this is saying as well. Wow. Holy crap. Because then we have water, water, water. Wow. So on our next card is um, the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords is about cutting through the BS. It is being straight with the point, really um, being direct, very direct. Um, with temperance, Temperance is all about moderation. Oh my gosh. Okay. I am getting weirded out. Because <laughs> I'm going to have to explain this afterwards. This is a read. Like, I'm really resonating with this reading. Um, wow. Okay. So, um, with temperance. Temperance is all about moderation. This is all about... Um, trusting your intuition, balancing, um, balancing things, and it's all about moderation. This is also on, um, like, all, this can read as your guardian angel that other people are watching over you. So this might be a sign that your um, spirit guides, your guardian angels, are trying to cut to the point and and trying to send you messages and being direct and maybe they're going through this reading as well that you need to hear that if you're having issues that you need to be direct and you need to be um um cutting through the bs through the fluff you know stop Stop trying to, like, do this whole song and dance to make everyone happy, you know? You need to really cut through the BS and get to the point. And then you have Eight of Cups, which is moving forward. This is moving on. This is 
again, this is like a chapter thing too. This is another chapter energy of like, this is a new chapter. Things are changing. Ooh, I'm kind of getting spooked, guys. Um, then you have judgment. And this is also very interesting because this is the same angel in temperance. Same angel. Okay. Can't make this stuff up. <laughs> it's crazy. So judgment's all about karma. It's all about karma. This is all about salvation, saving, um, making sure that, you know, you are doing the right thing. I think that this is resonating in the way of um, what's going on in your life, as well as the Amazon um, and the fire and everything. You know, it's, it's making sure that people are aware that this is going on, um, getting aid, um, trying to help um, any sort of thing that you can do to try to help the situation because this is our earth and we need to protect it. Um, and, you know, the, the thing is, is we need to take steps into that. But let me get off of my soapbox. <laughs> this is, but that's what judgment's all about, though. Judgment is showing you that um, with every action, there is a reaction. And that's what judgment is. So... Um, I talk about karma points a lot. So if you've been really good with your karma, this is showing you that it's going to be good. And I feel at least with your shadow cards, your clarifying cards, um, you have the nine of cups and that's your wish card. So I feel like you've been having really good karma points that you have been really um, being a genuine person and really doing this. And I know with this Ace of Swords, sometimes that can be really hard and really harsh and people don't really like it. But the thing is, is you have to protect yourself. And that's really with where this is coming from because your guardian angels are going to always be guarding you and trying to guide you in a certain way. So always look for those messages as well. Um, Six of Swords. This is also moving on. This is moving on to calmer waters. So it feels like that there is um, this shift. There is that energy shift that is happening right now. This is crazy. Um, I've got to tell you, though, that this is resonating with me on a really bizarre level because I was... Long story short, I was trying to get enough room on my phone to do Toasty Tarot Nights and I had um, a video from Corgi Fest from last weekend where we were in a park with a bunch of corgis and um, I had to delete that video. So before I did it, I posted it onto um, YouTube as a private video. If you guys are interested in it, it's just pretty much you're looking at corgis walking in a parade and me manically laughing the entire time. It's pretty great. I'll put it up eventually. But um, while I was waiting for that to upload, to delete, to do this, I found one of my old um, journals. Um, and this journal wasn't, it's not a crazy long journal. I took it on a trip um, when my uh, cousin Tim passed away and this was during a time I, I stopped drinking um, so that's why like a lot of this like cups and moderation and things like that and I'm reading some of this writing that's in here and it's really speaking to me and just really profound and it was because I was a hun you know I was sober and I was sober for um almost seven months at that time um and as I'm reading it I'm starting to think like maybe that's something I should start doing again where I, I don't overindulge. I don't, I'm not drinking um, in any sort of quantity that I was before. Um, but I do have drinks on the weekend. 
but it just it brought to another level it just it really kind of snapped with me where it's like being honest with yourself um maybe that this moderation needs to happen in that sense maybe moving on from it um but i do have to i have to read this excerpt to you and i know you guys are wanting readings but sorry <laughs> It just really stood out to me. Um, one of the things that kept happening through that trip was three crows. There was three crows everywhere I looked and this was around this time as well. And it was before um, Tim passed away to after. And it was for a while I would see only three crows. So three crows, three crows, three crows. So at the beginning of this I say that where it's three crows three crows three crows so I wrote this outside of um, Nevada um, let's see so this talks about the four steps to recover from codependency abstinence awareness acceptance action will bring authenticity, autonomy, cap capability to be to being intimate, integrated, and congruent values, thoughts, feelings, and actions. Pretty fucking incredible. Who the fuck lives in the middle of the desert in Nevada? Nothing but dust, but goddamn, the sunset is fucking beautiful. What lives out in the desert? Vermin, shit ton of bugs, snakes, Lizards, owls, perhaps a cute bunny or two, falcons, weird people, birds, crooks. I can't believe the spiritual journey I've been on. So intense, so exciting, so terrifying, and uncomfortable. Something I want to read into is voodoo. Watch, I watched this thing about the voodoo queen in New Orleans who you wouldn't think she was a voodoo queen at all. But she enters with three knocks. Three fucking crows. And so then that ends it right there. So I'm reading this before I did this reading and it just, a lot of what I wrote in there beforehand just really resonated with, um, this reading. Um, anyways, uh, <laughs> I might have overshared. <laughs> so, oh god, my teeth. So, just um, make sure that you do like that. <laughs> Comment below if it resonated with you. We're gonna do another reading, and hopefully, it doesn't resonate with me like that. Oh, that hurt my mouth. Okay, let's just cheers. Clink. All right. So I want to get out of threes because that's spooking me out. So I'm going to do five. And then we're going to do witch. The witch's tarot as the shadow. See that? You have death. And then you also got temperance. Wow. I'm telling you, it's like this is... And then you have Ace of Pentacles that popped out. Um, also, happy Virgo season, guys. Um, Leo season is over. And I thought that there would be a lot more energy that was like projected out. Like I was feeling like it was going to be this. And I honestly feel like it was the last hurrah. Um, things are starting to pivot. This is a diff this is amazing energy that's happening. Um, and amazing, I mean, in a way of awesome, full of awe, you know. It might not necessarily be good. Okay. Page of Pentacles. Five of Swords. The Star. 
the chariot. Wow. And then we got judgment again. Damn. Um. Wow. I'm already getting some messages. The first thing that kind of came into my head was you won the battle, but not the war. Queen of Wands came out. Pentacles, another five, three of pentacles. Gotta love that waiting energy. Three. What did I say that we wanted to get away from? <laughs> Eight of swords and seven of wands. Okay. So we have the page of pentacles, which is a message about money. This is also being our like any and it can be material items and then we have the seven of wands which the seven of wands is about um being defensive this is a, de a defensive energy so you're trying to save money you're trying to make money work you're trying to get new ideas um to create and um make that coin make that money and I feel like you are being really defensive on it because you're doing a lot of work and you're doing a lot of brainstorming and it just doesn't seem to be really working. Um, but then you have the five of, uh, of swords and five of swords is all about, um, it's winning, but not really. It's like you, you won, but it also hurt you in the end, if that makes sense. Um, it, you got the Eight of Swords. This is more sword energy, which this is feeling trapped. So you're feeling trapped because you won something. You won, you won the war or you won a battle, I should say. You didn't win the war. You won a battle, but it feels like you're still stuck. You thought that winning this was going to open up things and make it that way. Um, this can be like at work in the sense of like maybe getting a promotion or something like that where you got it, but then once you got it, you're like, holy crap, then I'm stuck here. This is what I'm stuck doing. Um, you have healing energy with the star, and I feel like this is going to be coming in from um, either, I'm feeling like a friend. Um, if you are in like an, a really weird place with friends it's going to really heal and and the energy is going to be better with it I also feel like this is maybe a sign of um, infidelity where maybe your partner has cheated on you in the past and um, you're going to be healing from it you're going to be able to move forward there's that ending chapter because we keep getting that where it's there's the chapters ending so it's healing and moving forward and this can be even with an ex as well, or someone that has left your life where um, it could be a friend, it could be something like that, where there's like a reconciliation in that sense, or a mutual understanding of healing and moving forward from it. Then you have the chariot and um, the three of wands, the dreaded three of wands. I say the dreaded three of wands because that's waiting energy. So it feels like you're ready to go in this chariot. You're ready to move forward. You're ready to go on this war. You won the battle, not the war, because you are stalling. There's a huge blockage that's happening right now. And it is your own procrastination. It is your own shit that you need to really be focusing on of how do I unblock myself. So it is time to really... See what is making you not go forward 
because you have everything that's ready to go, but you're the only one that's stopping yourself. Then you have judgment. And again, this is like the karma card. This is your angels are looking after you. You are, um, if you had really good karma, it's going to show it. And it feels like um, things have not been great. <laughs> your karma doesn't seem like it's been super great because um, things haven't been going your way. But you have this little um, flower that's poking from the snow, from this barren background. Um, things are going to be changing. There is a shift of energy that's happening. Um, the chapter is ending. You're starting a new chapter. The new stuff is happening. So, wow. that's This is a really good read, guys. Um, make sure that you do like this. Um, comment below if it does resonate with you. And um, make sure that you subscribe if you already haven't. Okay, I'm going to change the camera angle. All right, so um, this past week I, <laughs> I got my mouth messed up on Monday. And I've just been really taking it easy with things. And um, I'm trying not to overexert myself. Um, I meant to do more stuff and do a video last weekend, but... To be honest, this was my first ever surgery or anything like that. Um, I've never had my blood drawn or anything. They actually tried to and my body is not, did not like it. <laughs> it rejected it. So, um, but anyways, everything went well. Um, I just can't eat anything um, hard or I just, I'm just eating mashed potatoes. That's really all I'm doing um, and drinking a lot of water. But, um, I, it, I got, once it got done, I'm like, why did I get so worked up over it? But, you know, it's always when you don't know. It's the unknown. Where other people may have done it before. And for me, I'm a learner. I have to learn it myself. If someone tells me this is how it's going to be, I don't, like, well, my experience is going to be different. Because it always is. <laughs> I can give kind of an understanding, but it's, I need to experience it myself. Um, but anyways, I, um, I know that today is the start of Virgo season. So happy Virgo season. Um, when my mouth isn't so messed up, I'm going to try to do it this weekend. If not, it might be next weekend. Um, but I'm going to be doing a pick a card reading for um, Virgo season. But yeah, I'm um, I'm trying to get some new ideas for different videos as well. So um, comment below as well if you have anything um, that you want to see. Um, I'm trying to stay away from love and all that stuff. I want to do like self-improvement and cool stuff like that. Um... But anyways, um, I had a couple of questions I didn't really answer because again, I was just being neurotic and weird last week. But yes, this is my piano. Um, I do not play professionally. I can kind of play. Um, I can play a couple tunes, okay. <laughs> but um, it actually is a piano that my grandfather gave my mom. And my mom was going to give it away, and I said, no, I'll take it. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the piano. Um, maybe sometime I'll play it. I don't know. <laughs> I'm a little shy, especially with, like, musical stuff. Um, I wish I wasn't, because I know I'm a good singer, but I get really nervous around other people and singing around other people. Um... Another question I could th I can remember is, what do I do for a job? Um, I actually work in um, clerical. I do clerical work. I answer phones. Um, I do that, and it is for a collection agency. Um, it's a local collection agency um, that's in town. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what I do. Um, just a lot of searching and just desk job stuff. 
I say searching because we have to search um, like accounts and stuff like that where it's just, yeah. <laughs> so um, yeah, that's pretty much what I do is I just kind of go through um, that and um, answer phones, talk to clients, do all that stuff. But yeah, it's it's a good desk job. I can do it really well. Um, I have a really good 10 key on the keyboard. Um, but anyways, well guys, I think that is gonna be it for this episode. I'm sorry, my energy's a little down trying to not bust a stitch in <laughs> my mouth. So anyways, I hope you have a great weekend and I hope to um, see you soon. Bye guys.